Hi there, this is Lilia. I'm a professional face painter in Berlin, Germany, and this is probably the most important video you'll ever watch if you're interested in doing face painting. What? I've made it into a fun interview for you, but please listen carefully and take it seriously. It can prevent a lot of drama and even injuries. So you want to do some face painting as a volunteer? Yes, my children's school is going to have their summer event. Oh, that's so great. The children will love it. Yes, so we're excited too. Have you bought any face paints yet? I'm just gonna get some acrylics. They're cheap and I can get them at any craft store. Acrylic paints are not safe for the face. They contain ingredients that can cause rashes, eczema, in extreme cases even dermatitis or other health problems. Oh, uh, but it says they're non-toxic. Non-toxic only means that you won't die if you eat it. At least not right away. Plus, that information is useless for cosmetics. For whatever paints you put into someone's face, especially for young children, you must make sure it says cosmetic grade. It has to be approved by, for example, the FDA or the EU for cosmetic use and actually say face paint or for the use on the face on the label. Okay, I'll go to the drugstore then. They have uh, Halloween face paints. You could do that. If you want dull and greasy face paint that can stain and give the children a very uncomfortable feeling the whole day, and if you want to cause trouble for the whole family trying to remove it again in the evening, you could do that. Um, no, I want this to be fun for the children. I know, right? Here's what you can do. You can either get some face paint from brands like Snetheroo or Eulenspiegel. They're cheap, safe, and okay if you just want to use them for fun or invest into professional face paints. Just check the description box to find a list of face paint brands that are skin safe, easy to remove, have bright colors and a wonderful consistency. They all go a long way. Okay, thanks. Uh, what about glitter? Does it have to be cosmetic grade too then? Oh, good point. Yes, it has to be cosmetic grade. But it looks just like craft glitter, nobody will notice. Well, they won't see a difference, but I still want to ask you not to use craft glitter. It can contain sharp metal or glass particles which can damage the skin, and if they get into a child's eye, they can even damage the cornea or cause blindness. So please don't risk that and get some cosmetic red glitter. It's not expensive and one color is usually enough. Oof. Okay. Oh, and it has to say for the use on the skin. Because there's also cosmetic grade nail glitter, which is not safe for the use on skin. And if you're getting those sticky jewels, don't use craft glue, but skin glue to adhere them. Thank you for your advice. I'm just wondering, I've seen so many people who use acrylics and craft glitter. I know, right? They don't mean to cause any harm, but they do put children into risk because they didn't do proper research and, just like you, have seen other volunteers or even some face painters use those supplies. Let's protect our children and only spread joy with face painting. I'll do that. Thanks. Please help spread the message and share this video around. Comment down below, ask me any questions you might have and feel free to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications for more face painting tips. Take care.